Welcome back! I, I'm, I'm being attacked! We're going! Actually, it just hit me and then it sort of uh, fucked off again. Hold on, what is that? You see those lines on my screen? Oh, it's... It's destroyed. Hold on. Repair it. There we go. Northway station. There we go. This way. And I think on my way there... Let me quickly fill up these. Maybe I'll just grab a bunch of stuff on the way, you know? Also drink a bit of this. Okay. Um, do I want this? I think I have a lot of that, actually. I also think I still have a bunch of advanced materials at the staging outpost, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, I just changed my mind. Let's go to the Aurora. I'm right here. I'm right here. Let's go check out the captain's quarters. See what's in there. I have the combination now. And of course, also grab whatever I couldn't take with me last time because of lack of space. But now I have a fully... A fully equipped sea moth ready to, for any challenge. Now here's the question. Are these bastards still alive, the ones I killed last time? Uh... Let me just fill this up with a bunch of stuff. Creature egg can go in. That can go in. Ah, uh, that's shaking. I think I'm fine. I'll leave the sea glide. No. Actually, never leave the sea glide. Never leave it. I think these are back. Save the game. For some reason, I'm really scared of this area because this is where my computer crashed a lot first time I was here. It wasn't because of the game, I think. It was just my power supply unit. Uh, this is where I was last time. Let's go up here. Now, the problem's going to be finding out... <laughs> finding my way back to the captain's quarters. It was a bit of a maze. Man, this thing is still sort of on the verge of collapse. I don't think it ever will collapse, but it feels like it could at any time. I'm not sure, actually. Ugh. Fires are still burning. Administration. Let's go. Did I not scan that? Hold on, there was also something this way. I just want to quickly remind myself what I have down here. Uh... Oh! <clears throat> Damn! I uh, thought that was a... Uh... I thought those were stairs. I was wrong. What is that? Oh, it was just some fire. Ah! Was it like this last time? I don't remember that. I don't remember taking fire damage. Drive room? Wait, drive room? Uh... I'm sort of not remembering this right now. Ah! This is where I repaired. Got it. It's not this way. For some reason, I read that as like a hard drive room, like a storage facility or something. Of course, it's the... Ah! Oh, that scared me. Oh, I don't know why that's... 
I was I was looking off screen for just a second, and then I looked back, and I saw this thing on my arm, and I got so scared. God damn. I'll take a battery. No mind if I do. This fucking place is crazy. Now, a bunch of you mentioned in the comments that there was a cat poster somewhere. <laughs> and you were all mad that I didn't take it. Uh, so I'll see if I can find it. Ah, that one, isn't it? This is the one. And we've got batteries. I'll take them, of course. Cat poster acquired. Is this music new? I don't remember this music. Cabin seven, four, six. Maybe I'll grab that. Let me grab this too. I mean, I have room for it, so may as well. Whoops, what did I pick up? Carry all? I mean, sure, I'll bring it. Why not? If I run out of space, it'll be the first thing I throw out. Uh, there's two more of these. I think I'll only need one. I don't want more. Captain's Quarters, here we go. What did I write? Captain's Quarter 2679. Here we go! Oh! Captain's Log. Data download. What is that? Aurora Min- Oh! That's cool. Aurora Miniature? The next phase of Altera exploration. Sure. I'll take it. Integrating new PDA. Wait, what is that? Neptune Escape Rocket? Hold on. Calorie intake recommended. Oh shit, uh, calorie? I don't have any food. Hold on, I'll read this soon. Uh... First aid kit? What's in here? Uh, I think I need to leave. I don't have any food. Shit! Why did I not bring any food? Any nutrient blocks in here? Wasn't there a canteen? Somewhere? Wait, what? It's a ladder? Okay. Where was the... I think I passed the canteen, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it was just a door. I gotta leave, I gotta leave. I'm soon gonna die if I don't leave. Love the music. Uh, no, that's the drive. Drive room. I believe this is where I came from. Ah! Fucking hell. Oh man, the whole thing is coming apart. Oh, no more battery. Good thing I have multiple.
I made it. I have two PDAs to read. Go, go, go. I kind of just want to jump into the water from here. Save the game. Let's walk the plank. Huh! <laughs> awesome. Uh, no. Enter C mod. Okay. Ah, food. Quickly grab some food. I just gotta find one fish. I have my knife with me, so I can just ka cook it on the fly. There. Ow. Perfect. Vital signs stabilizing. Good enough. Read. Neptune escape rocket. Three stage? This blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest face gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data and available resources and is piloted by AI. It may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. It consists of five independently constructible elements. As a launch platform? Jesus! Floating platform provides a solid base from which to launch the rocket. Really? That doesn't sound very solid. Base, see. It has a gantry, provides structural support. Three stages, primary thrusters for reaching atmosphere escape velocity, fuel reserve, and cockpit. It features one-person life support, short-range communications, adaptable power supply, orbital shielding, and onboard time capsule. Onboard time capsule? Warning, onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. Warning, the use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. Is that how I'm going to fucking leave the planet? I'm actually going to get off the planet? Captain's log. <laughs> Captain's log. That sounds like uh, something out of Star Trek. No, wait. They say Star Log or something like... I don't know. Loading program. Craig McGill Simulator VRAT. Size one player, Captain Hot Dog Hollister. Right, his name was Hollister. Map Boreal 9. Resources normal. <laughs> Amazing. You are exploring a quiet alien backwater when the ship you arrived here in implodes. It must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? Search the crash site, farm alien plants, or use the tectonic de imploder, which is unavailable. I guess I'll farm alien plants. Doot. That's just what Craig McGill would do. After foraging for some hours, you have collected a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs. Which will you sustain yourself with? Stank root, tree roaches, or star wall eggs? Definitely the star wall eggs. While the star wall eggs are nutritious, the life cycle of these vast space-fearing creatures is much too slow to sustain a farm. And besides, their mother is extremely angry with you. Fight the star wall ex Apologize to the star wall, accept your fate? Crack McGill, no Crack McGill knows there is no reasoning with a mother scorned. You are not so much torn apart as swallowed whole and disintegrated. The atoms that you thought were you are gradually redistributed in service of the star wall's continued survival. Would you like to continue? No. <laughs> Amazing. I love the callback to Crack McGill. It's so good. I like that the captain was just sitting in his cabin, you know, playing VR games and trying to dream about being Craig, uh, Craig McGill. That's amazing. Altera HQ, last recorded transmissions. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours, 
Opening us to recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications Relay Offline. Hmm. Yeah. So they sent the thing to the captain's quarters. They had a plan to get us out. Now, requires a huge power source. I am thinking... Maybe I'll need a power transmitter for that. Maybe the only way to have enough power... ...is to use thermal vents or nuclear reactors or something. I have no clue. So let me get this straight. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going uh, this way. So the way I understand the story right now, and my goal... I need to figure out how to cure myself of this vac of this virus. Obviously, otherwise I'm I'm gonna die. So that's gotta be priority number one. Look out for number one. And after that, when I'm no longer infected, I can operate the console at the alien cannon. Perhaps even disable the cannon. And when I do that, I will build a fucking spaceship and escape the planet. Because when the cannon is offline, nothing is automatically firing at anything that leaves or comes. You know? Did I just... Did I get everything right? That seems about uh, how this is gonna go. Hold on. Have I been here? All these wrecks. No, cannot get in... Oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I'm just thinking, how many did I miss now? I forgot I could do that. I forgot about all that, man. Uh, this door is useless. Wait. There's nothing in here. Am I crazy? There's nothing in here. A sea glide. I mean, if you don't have a sea glide by now, I uh, I don't know. You're not doing too well. But then again, maybe this is one of the early things you can discover. I don't know how close to the life pod I am. That's closed. I'll take that. Okay. Man, look at the Aurora. It's huge. Staging, outpost, here I come. I just remembered too. I think close to the staging outpost there was this whole area that was completely devoid of anything. It was just like huge sand dunes and it went super deep. Like it just went off in the distance. I remember being scared in that moment, thinking, holy shit, that goes deep, and I never and I just turned around. It was quite early in the in the game. But I wanna go back there. And that's where I also spotted, I think, the very first time I saw one of those big leviathans.
I just want to grab some quartz real quick. That's salt. That's not quartz. I was fooled. I was fooled. Okay. Oh, I guess I'll cook a fish. Eh, eh. Come here. What's that? Mesmer. Hello. Let me scan you. Small carnivorous life form with a unique hunting mechanism that enables it to hypnotize its foes. Jesus, what the fuck's happening here? What just happened there? Oh! Right. Let's do that. Vital signs stabilizing. Dude, they're stabilizing so hard you don't even know. Okay. What did it say? Outer wings. Hypnotize, really? The mesmer swims using a number of wings which can be angled up and for and forwards on approaching its prey. Tiny lenses on the surface can be tilted independently to create a mesmerizing pattern which flood the victim's brain with enticing messages. Interpret it in whatever form is most convincing by the target. Outer shell. The mesmer can open the jaw-like recess and its protective outer shell in order to error 463 share its beauty. Do not resist. Assessment draw closer. Okay. I mean, if the PDA tells me to. I mean, that's kind of a nice... Hold on. Can I eat you? I can't grab it. Draw closer. Oh! Oh, shit! I was not actually expecting that to do anything. Fuck you! What did the PDA say? It is my primary objective to swim closer? Don't hypnotize me. You bastard. Can't believe I'd ever discovered that before. Is that like a rare fish? Did I just murder something beautiful? I mean, it really it actually was really beautiful. I can't lie, it was very tantalizing. No, not tantalizing. What is the word? Uh, I felt a certain attraction, you know? Definitely liked it. I liked what I saw. That's right, this area. I remember this. I remember these balls. Filled with uh, something very uh, light. Making it rise to the surface. I remember reading about that. Oh, the membranes! I'm back. Honey, I'm home! Let me park. Get in there. Welcome aboard, ah, nice. Isn't it? Oh. Warning. Emergency power. Not so nice. I guess I don't have any power. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I not have... I mean, I have this. I can fill it up with a bit of deep shrooming here. Fauna? Oh, I have creature eggs! Huh! Right! I forgot about that. I should bring those back to my containment. Hold on, I have a... I never thought about this. I can fucking plant things in these. How did I not realize this? Nice! Beautiful! Uh, do I have more? A deep shroom? Matthews? 
Enjoy a deep shroom. Oh, that doesn't work. Hold on. You can have a pink cap. Look at that. Isn't that just the cutest? I love it. I love it. Let's fill this up. Quartz. We have some titanium. Salt. Oh, batteries. I can, uh, hold on. I have empty batteries. Guess we'll exchange all of these. Ah, that's fine. Oh, these are not even full yet. Damn. That's fine. There we go. But I will re I will require extensive power for this. So let me go grab some wildlife here. That peeper can come as well. Maybe I should just I don't want to destroy the membrane screens. That that can I even hold on. I need to try. Oh! Oh, I can plant them! Oh! Yo! Fucking hell, I'm taking a shit ton of membrane trees, trees with me. I love the way they look. Yeah! Fish. That goes in, that goes in, that goes in, that goes in. So hold on. Wait. Oh, I guess it. Hmm. Wait. Why doesn't that work? It's four slots. Is it an uh, is it an outside only thing? I guess that would make sense. It's sort of. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't make any sense to have that thing inside. Um. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll bring that back with me to the other station when I go back at some point in the future. For now, I will store it in my locker. Flora. There. Carry all whatever. My stasis rifle! So it was here. God damn, I feel so stupid now. Uh... Crafted. Let me drink some water. And I also need to eat some food. Stasis rifle comes with me now. Creature decoy comes with me. I mean, batteries. I can exchange one. There. Maybe I should do the same with one more. There. I'm gonna put in all this stuff. And plant the speckled rattler again. I can actually decide where I want it even. Oh no, I can't. Why is this gray now? Can I not remove it? Oh, I just pick it up. Okay. So what if I put it there? Okay, whatever. Uh, do I have everything I need? Salt I can deposit somewhere. Let me put it in here in fauna. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it is what it is. Poster goes in here. In fact, maybe I'll put a poster up here. Um, I guess I equip it. Yeah. You know what? It's very fitting to have the prawn suit poster here because this is where I crafted it. In this area. There. That's beautiful. That way I can look at it whenever I come up in my Seamoth or my prawn suit and be like, yeah, I got this one. Speaking of the prawn suit, I do want to upgrade it with a bunch of stuff. Now that I have a lot of highly advanced materials on me. I do forget 
what exactly it needs. Modification station, no. Cyclops. Where do we have it? Vehicle upgrades. What do I even want for the prawn suit? What can I make? Torpedo arm. Gas torpedo. Vortex torpedo. I create a localized gravity distortion. I mean, I have to try all this, of course. Seamoth perimeter defense system? Now, that actually sounds kind of enticing. Oh! Holy shit. It is true. I have to make this. Titaniums and glass. What did I bring on this... Bunch of titanium. And did I bring glass? I did take pick up a bunch of quartz, didn't I? Creature egg. Yeah, I'll take that with me. Just in case I encounter... Right, I'm going to, a, I think, an alien facility here, so I may as well bring my tablets. One of each color, just to be sure. Make some glass. Unpowered. Oh wait, the fucking battery thing is drawing all the power. Stop it. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of power here now. Can I not use it? Hello? Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, glass. Because I wanted to make. Man, this is really annoying. Let me go take off the battery. No more charging. Light sticks. I wanna buy some light sticks. Oh, it, it's really just one, isn't it? It's not super fantastic. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Put it in. And metals? No. Titanium. In you go. And we have some advanced. There. Batteries. There. I think I may be good. Yeah. Oh, it actually light. I can hand hold it in my hand. Ooh. Very cool. I'm liking that. Okay. I think I'm ready. Oh, first, let's quickly grab some food to eat. So I don't starve down there. You come with me. Also you and you. I need something with, with nutrition. Whatever. I'll eat all of it. I don't care. Welcome aboard, Captain. Almost ready for a big expedition here. Especially now that I can go to 900 meters. Last time I had the problem where I... I had to leave my Seamoth up there and then swim down. It was it was not very optimal. Not at all. But this time. This time I am prepared. Also, I can always cook fish down there, you know, with my knife. So that's something to keep in mind. Here we go! Welcome aboard, Captain. 
onboard cabin All systems online. All systems online indeed. Let me activate some things. That one I can remove. It's it's clean. That one is clean. Clean. That's the one I need. And the rest, we're good. Let's -a go. Now, how did I get down there? Is the question. We got a warper. That make that makes sense for there to be an alien facility then, because they are guardians. They are enforcers. They're meant to be here to protect alien facilities. No. Uh. What? Oh shit! Oh my god! Speaking of fucking warpers. Ah! Let's just get away. Let's just get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. And then we repair. Oh, repair. I wonder, what if I have a bunch of materials in my Seamoth and it actually explodes? Do I lose everything? Oh, well, that's a question. Uh, let's, let's do this uh, systematically. I'm gonna go all along the wall. And scout ahead and see what's here. So beautiful, actually. I love the lights. That's where I came from, isn't it? Ow. Oh, I don't like that. Oh my god, there's a warbird right next to me. Oh! oh the sounds. Oh, that was one of those... Uh, Squid thingies. Ah! Not that way! They are really protecting this area. I must be close. What's down here? Ah! Fucking fish! Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, wait a minute. I remember. I remember. Uh, no. Where is it? Data downloads. The Gazi survivors. No. Partorgal's log. Which one was it? Storm. Curious discovery. Malady. Disaster. Bart Torgal disembarked the habit. That's when he went back to the island. Uh, at some point, they've... Oh, they mentioned something here about there actually being... Something right below the base. Something deep below here. And I think that that is the alien facility they were talking about. Maybe they did discover it. I mean, that's why they wanted to go deeper, right? To get to the bottom of this, similar to what I'm doing? Okay, let's go deep. Wait, what's that? What the hell is that? No way. Is that my flare that I threw? Like, 15 episodes ago? It's just now loading in. What? Can I pick it up? I can. Haha. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Man. 
That was the coolest throwing grab ever made. I threw that like 20 hours ago, and then I came back just in time to grab it before it hit the ocean floor. Tell me that's not impressive. Uh-oh. Oh, it's right there. I mean, it's not really doing anything to me. Ah! Woo! <laughs> okay, take it back. What the fuck happened? Oh, I thought I died. Go! Go, go, go! 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 It teleported me! It warped me out of my sea moth. Oh my god. Oh, that scared the sh How did that not happen to me yet? I feel like I've been super close to these things for so long. Oh, holy Jesus. See, now this environment here... ...starts to remind me of the other place exactly. You know, with the poison lake or whatever that is. Ooh, that's a tunnel. And what about this area? Mm, maybe nothing this way, actually. Oh, wait, I see something. Uh-oh. A huge leviathan head? Aliens. Sea Emperor? Is this the one they were studying? Look, it looks like they're studying it with these arms. Bro. I mean, I'm gonna have a pic I'm gonna need a picture for my studies too, you know? There. God damn. Let's take a look. Ancient skeleton. Ancient fossilized skeleton. Oh shit. The skeleton of a million year old armored carnivore. Projections suggest this life form would have been larger than any living creature encountered on the planet. The oceans of the time would have been very different to support life forms of this size, with more open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. Is this the Sea Emperor they were talking about in the alien research facility? In the disease research facility? Look, it has small fossils on it too. Alien sensor. Wait. Research probes. The... Uh... Oh! I didn't even notice that. Fuck. The prominence and facing of these alien devices suggest they are some kind of probe or sensor. Their subject would seem to be the vast skeleton in the center of the cavern. The attached cable network may lead to a remote, to a remote power station or data hub. Assessment. Investigate. I completely agree with that assessment, PDA. I couldn't agree more, in fact. So, here's the thing. This thing is a million years old. And as far as I'm aware, the aliens existed a thousand years ago, which is nothing compared to a million years. So they obviously found the remains, just like I found the remains here, and they decided to study it. I mean, obviously they could have existed for longer, uh, like before a thousand years ago, but I, I'm guessing maybe not a million years, you know? Maybe I should follow the probes. Follow the arms. They go to there. Oh, I see something.
Man, look, you can see the organs through it. Here we go. Thank God I brought my tablets, huh? What do we have here? No! Oh, I do have one! Perfect! I thought it was a color it didn't have. Save the game. Here we go. Oh, more disease research. Alien bone specimen case. Mixed Leviathan fossils. These fossils likely came from the ancient ancestors of the Leviathans which inhabit the planet today. The relative size and delicacy of the bones suggests they form part of the ear canal or some other complex internal structure. Holy shit. If that's only part of the ear canal, then these things are massive. Ancient flora specimen case. Let me look at that. Got some fossils there. That one looks like the membrane tree almost, but not quite. Like maybe a precursor? Local plants being held in stasis. The aliens evidently sought an extensive knowledge of the planet's ecosystem, which would have been necessary to support any live specimen research. Right. Oh, what is that? creature egg okay that has that has to be important I guess since it was displayed here like that research equipment a large laboratory table and accompanying scanners incorporate technologies far beyond our current level of understanding hypothesis equipment maintenance staff maintenance specimen analysis and specimen gene manipulation Oh, look, that's a big version of it. You know what that looks like? One of those electrical... Uh, I think Tesla cubes, or whatever they're called. Tesla balls. What do I need all this ion cube for? I, I'm getting so many of them. Can I not enter? Is that it? Oh, crap, claw, kelp. This reminds me a little bit of the uh, pyrocoals that I found on in the other area. A blue-tipped kelp species which tends to grow in or near to acidic brine pools on the ocean floor. Yep. These brine pools are hazardous to most life forms. However, the crab claw has adapted by developing a thick, inflexible root system, which can withstand the environment and which raises the sensitive blue feeding nodules above the level of the brine. So they feed from these, huh? Above the brine. Okay. Let's grab this. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. What did what, what do we get? What do we get? Terminal data. Fauna reproductive data. Extensive alien research data on the local fauna with a special focus on their reproductive methods. Core conclusions have been synthesized. The aliens discovered the life forms on the planet have just one sex. They observed local organisms engaging in asexual reproduction. All healthy individuals tested were capable of egg laying. Eggs usually require genetic material from another of the species. In rare case, only one parent was required with evolutionary mutation introduced by the effects of the environment itself. Research appears to have been focused around hatching conditions and genetic variations between parent and child. Hmm. I wonder if all of this is supposed to... give me clues on how to actually find the cure. There's nothing else in here, right? 
I didn't miss anything. No, this looks like the only cave here. Okay. Oh! It doesn't like light. Let me not do that. What about sonar? Does it like sonar? Are you okay? Maybe we're good. What's this way? Let me try and go this way. All these translucent rays down here. They're so cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, what the fuck? That's a Leviathan. More bones. Uh oh. Go the other way. Go the other way. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I have an idea. Oh, look at that one. Oh, another dr sea dragon? There, fetch. Come on, man. Grab the decoy. You don't like the blinking? Come on. You know you want to. Okay, fuck you. I'm going I'm going around. I'm going around. Yeah. Maybe I can stay under the radar here. What's down there? Ooh. Oh, it's coming. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Which way? Which way? Which way? Which way? Okay, it's not coming anymore. We're fine. Oh my goodness. Another one of these giant fucking fossils here. Uh, I don't know which way to go. I'm looking for alien structures. Man, this place is really similar to the other place that I was in. I think this may be a way out. I don't want to go out. Nothing that way. Maybe over here. That's toward the Degasi habitat. That's the skull. Hmm. Maybe this way then. I mean, it's got to be more down here, right? This looks extremely similar to the other cave I was in. More fossils. I think here we go. We're going deeper. Ooh. We're going really deep. 800 meters right now. Am I gonna kiss a thousand? Look at that. Another fucking... Oh, here we go. Alien facility confirmed. 
just want to see if there's anything in here. No. Okay, okay, okay. Let me go this way. This is ex- hold on. Am I- Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck me. No way. Did I go that far? What the shit? No way. No fucking wonder it looked so similar. It was the same place. <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with me? Well, I don't know why. I I I didn't think about the fact that the this that the cave network could extend all the way across there. That was just very unexpected. Well, fuck. Now I don't know where to go. Well, I still have a clue. I still have a clue as to the 1200 meter base, I think. Uh, I think I have an approximate location in one of my PDA downloads. Man, I can't believe I, I just did this. I can't, I can't believe I've done this. Oh well, that, that was uh... Go for the decoy, mate. That's right. You do know what's good for you, don't you? Okay. Uh, where is the habitat? Man, I can't believe it actually was connected like this. It just felt so impossibly far apart. These two areas, you know? Like the... The way station north... And the staging outpost felt like... Infinitely far apart, so I just... In my mind, there was no way this could have been the same cave. No way, Jose. I guess I'm wrong. Okay, well... Maybe I'll try to go the other way here. Nah, there's nothing that way. It's time to get up again. Up and about. I think my next big objective is going to be upgrading my prawn to the max. Ooh, look at that boy, it's infected. Seek fluid intake. Uh, where's my base? North. There. Uh, I guess I go up here. Yeah, this is it. There. Actually, perfectly located outpost, isn't it? Let me quickly take a look. So, I had a data download. Uh, let me see here. Scan data. Artifacts. No, where is it? Alien data terminal. Enforcement platform schematic. No. Specimen research data.
Where the hell did I see that? Research equipment. No. Alien. Is it... Uh, hold on. Advanced theories. Sea dragon egg? Fucking hell, where was that? Codes and clues. Alien facility locations. There we go. This is the one. But, I was also informed about them studying... Ooh. Let me see if I can find that. One of the last things I found. Terminal data, specimen research data. Offsite lab established to study remains shows some potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Study remains. Is that what I just found? This Leviathan species has been ass assigned designator Sea Emperor. Bone samples from Emperor specimens indicate some potential for Kara immunity. Single specimen captured for study at purpose built containment facility constructed in volcanic region at 1.4 kilometers. Okay. Okay. Let me just write that. Uh, what did it say? Sea Emperor. Seek fluid intake. Facility containment. Facility. 1200 meters at 1.4 kilometers. Uh, volcanic region. Whatever that means. Nice. But I think my next big objective is going to be to try and find the uh, power facility at 1,200 meters. And that's going to be in the next episode, I think. Maybe I'll even build a base. I want to build a really deep base at some point. At 1,000 plus, you know? But for that, I think I'm going to need my upgraded prawn suit, so I also have to do that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.